really an insect, but uh, I, I know it's sometimes difficult, these things. This is an arachnid, but just have a look at how grotesque this thing actually is. Not very big. I'm going to put my finger next to it for some size. This is a sun spider, or red roman as we call them, or solifuge is actually its more correct name. And one of the rarest solifuges that we have out here, and we're being treated to a rare display of this particular solifuge outside of its burrow. And for those of you who know a little bit about solifuges, you'll know that we get basically three types here. We get a daytime solifuge that is covered in these white hairs and runs around at near close to light speed. And then we get a nocturnal solifuge which is red and three or four times the size of this one. And then we get this solifuge. And for really, I'm going to ask some help over here, please take some screenshots of this solifuge. The reason being is that they're not a very well known group of solifuges these burrowing solifuges. So you can see that she's slow moving. She actually moves around at the edges of her burrow. She's busy looking for her burrow at the moment. And her burrow is silk lined and has a cap of silk. And she comes out and hunts around. Now not a lot of, a lot, not a lot of is known about these burrowing solifuges. In actual fact, According to a friend of mine, Mr. Lee Guttridge, who's an author of a number of books around here, he needs to collect these because there's, ah, there's, look how that's probing into a hole. Using those front legs, these are modified front legs that actually act as sensory organelle. And you can see how she's busy using those legs to great effect to feel around her. I must be honest with you, they are terrifying if you have a look at their faces. They've got, they're not venomous. They have four pairs of chelicerae, so two at the top and two at the bottom, that gives them this horrible beak-like face. But in actual fact, they're relatively harmless. They can't do much to you. They can give you a bit of a nasty nip, but that's about it. So please, definitely do take some screenshots for me if you don't mind. Send those to questions at wildearth.tv and I will gladly pass them on to my friend, Mr. Guttridge. And who knows, maybe we're busy adding to science as we look at it. To me, it looks like they're hunting or she's hunting for termites. She's bypassing ant nests and ant colonies, but investigating minutely any termite emergence. I don't actually know where her burrow is. I had a quick look around just before you came to me. I can't see any burrows. They're characterized by, a, by almost like an octopus-like pushing of sand. She keeps her burrow clean by pushing out sand and she almost makes these octopus-like patterns in the sand. That's how you know it's a solifuge. Digging down about five inches She's caught something here. Yeah, I'm going to see if I can move this leaf so we can share it with her. No, she hasn't. Just busy testing that termite mound. to see. Isn't this just the most amazing thing? Where are you going? Are you looking for a place to hide out for the day? Trying to move that sand. You can see another termite emergence there. Now, like I mentioned, it's pretty safe for me to keep my fingers near to this particular arachnid. They're not true spiders because they don't make silk, except for this one. Can you believe it? Now, we don't quite know how the silk is made in this particular, in this particular solifuge. We just know that they build a silk-lined burrow about five inches deep. And that's all we pretty much know about these and I can see her busy chewing on some sand and processing sand. I just think it's absolutely fascinating. You're looking at us expanding our knowledge on these creatures basically in front of your eyes. There she's caught the termite or she's dug open where some termite... No, she's busy moving sand around. She's chewing sand. What are you doing? Let's see, there she goes and pushes that sand. You saw her, that characteristic push of the face. 
Now that swollen abdomen is characteristic of this particular species. All the others have abdomens that are much smaller in relation to the rest of their body, especially the daytime, the little daytime hunters. They run around, I think it's because they run around, as I mentioned, with speeds close to the speed of light, that they are eternally hungry. What are you doing? Now he's having a bit of a rest, giving us a chance to have a look at, um, at the structure of this particular... Oh, look at that breathing. See, between the abdomen and the head, so this is called the cephalothorax, that. It is the common thorax and head, two eyes on the top of the head, and then those long chelicerae there, that is what's used to dig with and to hunt with. This modified pair of front legs has sensory organelle all over them. They're not true chelicerae like you'd find in spiders. And then here we have the abdomen. That is the abdomen there. Just look at her pushing the sand around, chewing through that sand, moving the sand. Like I said, folks, you're busy watching science in action here. We've never seen these, these particular solifuges in action before. There's very, very little known about these particular arachnids. Not much more that I can tell you, really. We're just busy watching. I'm trying to describe the actions to you. You can see that she's now chewing big rocks out of the way. What are you doing? Chewing up the sand, moving it behind her with her middle legs, these legs here, she's putting to great use those legs there, just behind her head, not using her four back legs too much, except for locomotion, but her pedi, uh, well, her front legs are probing, she then uses her four other legs basically to shift sand around, where are you going? Let's see what they're doing. I mean, if we get today, if we get this particular solifuge producing silk, Anna Marie, you've made a comment that's, you know, that is close to my heart. You said, this is why you love bushwalks. It's all these interesting things that we're watching at the moment. That I must agree with you. To me, watching something new that we don't know anything about, especially something like this, which at first glance is horrifying, but as soon as you get to watch them for a little while, you realize that, in actual fact, they're just doing what they're meant to do. They're just form following function was very little in this particular case appeal to aesthetics but i must agree with you anna maria I, I, this is definitely what gets me up in the mornings and makes me enjoy these particular outings so much now you can see she's busy working through the sand there busy chewing it through those pedipalps i mean that's a fairly large rock that she's using there let's see what she does with it now they are very good diggers, these solifuges. The larger nocturnal solifuges actually actively hunt scorpions. And they can dig a scorpion out of a burrow in record time. She just looks like she's working through the sand. Once she's worked it through her, her chelicerae, those front moving parts, Just unbelievable. All right, we're going to stick around with this spider, or oh, this arachnid for a bit, and send you over to Taylor.